happy to have you uh, share this experience with us. Uh, let's let's jump right into it. Um, you and I have had about some some discussions uh, prior to this about uh, the word talent. Um, I think again for me it's been flown around in in varieties of of contest. Mm -hmm. uh, finding a clear talent definition sometimes is, is challenging. Um, some will argue that it's, it's genetics. Um, others will say it's learned. Um, and most will agree that it's, it's a little bit of both. You know? So uh, to you, uh, what does it mean uh, to have talent? Uh, I will start by speaking about a very uh, big or broad preamble which which will, will answer the questions on its own once we are able to lay the foundation. I'm I'm going to speak in the in the in the perspective of seeing ourselves as coaches and then also seeing ourselves as as putting in place a, a structure where where talent can be developed. And many times uh, uh, or traditionally People think about today. People think about uh, tomorrow, and then people think about the next, the next, uh, the next season. But I think that majority of us <clears throat> have also thought about how to recruit players for the first team. Many times, th this has been the thoughts. But I think that we need to begin to think beyond this level. We need to begin to think beyond the aspect of just thinking about. Uh, 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 what tomorrow looks like, or what you know the next season looks like, and then hugely we need to think about uh, what does winning look like in the long term. And for me, that is the perspective that I want I want us to be looking at. So, so what does winning look like? If you begin thinking about what does winning look like on a long term, then we will begin to be thinking about really what must we be able to institute as, 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 as the, the topic depicts. So what we do in the now is mostly what we always want to be thinking within our club setting, within our national team setting. So many, many times I will use examples of our African perspective, be it South Africa, Nigeria, or, or Ghana. So when you, when you look at, when you look at the, transformation of or evolution of our, our football. When, when the many times that Ghana won, Ghana won the, 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 the AFCON, were times when Ghana predominantly used homegrown players. When Ghana, the last one that I saw that Ghana won was in 82. I believe many of us were all born at the time, right? Predominantly, predominantly, the players we used were, were locally based players. When Egypt, consistently when Egypt won the, the, the AFCON, if you ask majority of the players, about 80% of the players were all homegrown players. It means that there's something that we, have, we, are, we are still not trying to find. When Kotoko won the the, 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 the club championship those years. 100% of their players were locally, were homegrown grown players. When House of Folk won the 2000 um, uh, uh, Cup Confederation, they won the Cup Confederation with consistency of, you know, consistently winning the Ghanaian Premiership and then using the same material over and over again, and then gaining the necessary experiences that, that they needed. Now, many a times people would think that then, if, if I'm talking about uh, talent, what am I speaking about? Then I'm looking at the settings of, of a football club. In, in Europe, clubs, clubs, like in UK, clubs have over a, a budget of uh, about over uh, 500 million euros. In, in, in Holland, Clubs have, you know, budgets of over uh, uh, 190 to 200 to 200, you know, euros budget, you know, allocation. Now, if you don't, if 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 uh, if football is being controlled by these financial 
strengths. And then if you are not strong enough to be able to compete with this group of, this group of you know, uh, uh, strong competitors, but the only opportunity you also have is the chance to be able to compete on your, uh, based on your own strength. And that is why it is important that when you have a strong budget, then you can, you can, you can buy success. But unfortunately, we, we, if you want to buy success, then you can, you can, if you have a strong budget, the success you'll be able to buy means that you have the opportunity of buying the best, the best players on the market, the best talent you have the opportunity to buy. Now, we have the opportunity of competing with these ones, but we don't have, we don't have, we have a good platform to compete with them, but we don't have the financial muscles to compete with them. So once we don't have the financial muscles to compete with these ones, we need to begin to think differently. And once you begin to think differently, you need to act differently. I'll give an example of a club. When club was in a, 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 a Anfield, his first statement was that, yes, he's coming in a new environment, but he wants them to think differently. And once you are thinking differently, you have to begin to act differently. And how, how are you going to act differently? You, you need to set yourself some specific, uh, specifics. Because we don't have the strong financial muscles to be able to, to, be able to, to compete with these with with this, uh, competitors in this environment, then we need to think and then act. We need to think differently and then we act differently. What, I'm, what, I, what, I, want to speak, what I want to say here is that we need to, we need to to think logically. And when you begin to think logically, the only platform you have is that you are going to compete with them on this one. So you have to think logically. Logical, thinking logically means that you need to see how you are going to move from A to Z. Now, and under this circumstance, so once we begin to think differently and logically, so one thing that comes into our mind is that what we need to do as an identity. What will we do as an identity? What will, will we do in order to distinguish ourselves at thinking differently from what, how the others think? Because they are, going, they are going for the best because they have the strength and the financial uh, muscles to, to, to go for the, for, the, for the best at that, at that time. Now we are thinking that once we begin to think differently and we are acting differently, we know where we are now. So we know our now. And we know where success is in the future. And once we're able to target and know that success is here in the future, then we have to begin to, to be ambitious. So we have to be looking at 10 years, how we can build a team in 10 years. In 10 years, how will, will it look like? Then our vision will be that if that is what we are thinking about, then in 10 years, Yeah. So once we begin to think about, we need to be very clear in what success looks like in 10 years. So we have to turn our, our vision into our programs. And, and once we are able to put in place our programs, we don't put somebody to take charge of the program. The, the program takes charge of itself in our institution. Because the program tells you what you are, with, what you are going to get at the end. Because if the program will be telling you what you'll be doing at all times, then it means you are not going to be, you are not be, going to be creative as a person. So, and then the, and the other aspect is that we need to, to be thinking about facts and find knowledge. The facts are that we, 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 have, we have inherited a club and we know what has been instituted already. So what has been instituted? There are facts that can never stop. The facts are that, yes, Ghana won the AFCON, with, with uh, homegrown players. Uh, 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 House of Oak won the Champions League with homegrown players. How did they do it? So based on the facts that are on the ground, you are able to know that, yes, if you really want to, want to know how the mind works, you need to look for a, 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 a neuroscience. Uh, uh, the neuroscience department will be able to tell you how the brain, brain will mature in, in 10 years. So in, in, in five years, how you'll be looking for a brain that will be more matured in, in 10 years. Now, 
when you are looking, when we say we want to look for, we want to look for knowledge. We want to look for knowledge because what we are doing now is our knowledge, is the sharing of knowledge. We want to speak with experts. We want to speak with, uh, maybe you want to speak with uh, Louis Van, Van Hal, you want to speak with Koref, you want to speak with uh, Sarami in South Africa, you want to speak with uh, Chief Onigwende in, uh, in, uh, in uh, I'm sure Simon is surprised I'm speaking about uh, Sarami in South Africa. And then uh, you want to speak with uh, Chief Onigwende in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Nigeria, or you want to speak with uh, 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 James Peters in Nigeria, you want to speak with uh, Otia Kente in Ghana, you know, this gives you the, 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 the clarity of, of where your direction is because these are experts in the game. And once you are speaking with the, with, with the neuroscience department, they are, they are giving you a lot of facts in terms of how the brain works. And the people you are speaking with in terms of the football department are also telling you really what had happened before and how it has to be done. And they're giving you the right information that you really would need. And based on this, it's all about speaking with the necessary experts, how the brain will work in 10 years or how success will be achieved in 10 years. Now, if you are putting in place, you need to put in place a capable staff. And these capable staff that you're putting in place are, are uh, the program that, that tells you what you need to achieve at the end. Because the program will not, once you are putting in place capable staff, you are empowering them to be creative. You are empowering them to be creative because already they know what you need, they need to achieve at the end. And once he knows what to achieve at the end, if it's about a program, you assume you have a physical program and in a weekly, a weekly, weekly block of long distances to cover, your idea is to cover at least 60, 60, 60 meters you know, in that block. You shouldn't tell the coach how he has to, what he has to conduct in order to be able to make players to read there. If he's going to institute a tactical or technical measure in order to be able to fulfill that, that physical component, you know, he has, he has the opportunity to be creative in that, in that aspect. And, and, and by so doing, you are empowering your, your, your coaches to, to become more, more vibrant in terms of their aspect of creativity. We are laying a foundation in terms of what we want to really find what talent will be and where talent will be fit and then how talent development is all about. So, uh, so one, three things that come into my mind, very important are that what is really a talent? So if I ask what is really a talent? The second aspect is that it's not what looks like a talent, but what, what really is a talent? What really is talent inside? Not, not what looks like a talent, but what really talent is inside. How do we de develop people? And when we speak about how do we develop people, we're speaking about how can we get the best out of, you know, the best out of people? How can we get the best out of people? People in the sense of players, people in the sense of, uh, of, of team. And then the third one is, how do we create a winning team? Having said, having, having put it in this perspective, perspective, we will now begin to ask, what is a talent? So I ask in, in our platform, what is a talent? Simon, what is a talent from your perspective? So, so when I ask- I'll, I'll go first. I think, well, yeah. Again, going off just uh, a dictionary uh, definition here, we would say a natural ability uh, to be good at something, especially without being taught. That's how I look at it. Anyone with, with other views? There are so many, so many aspects of talent. Others will talk about, others will talk about Someone who is ready to sacrifice something for, for, you know, in order to gain something. Another person will talk about perseverance. Another person will talk about uh, 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 the ability to, to, to do something in recognition. Another person will talk about, about uh, passion. And, and, and passion, even though I don't speak Latin, but, but passion is, 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 is a Latin word. 
that has to do with uh, suffering or how, how, how you want to suffer in the achievement of something, how you want to waste your time in terms of trying to, to, to gain something. So, so passion in, on, on, uh, in, uh, on its own you know, brings everything that, that is inside, inside us. And, and you realize that technical skills you know, stands because you cannot do f football without technical skills. But, but technical skills alone does not define what a talent is. Talent is more than, more than average. Anything that can be recognized by someone, if I'm able to do something that you can appreciate and, and believe that, wow, what, is, what I'm doing is, is, is appreciated, then it becomes a talent. If, I, if, if you are doing something that even the way you speak, if, if I can deduce that, wow, he speaks very, very well, and then, and then you are able to develop it, then it becomes, it becomes your talent. So talent is not one or two, you know, talent is so diverse that, you know, it, you cannot just, just see one aspect. Talent should be something that can, can always be, be appreciated. Talent should be something that can be felt. And as we go on, we begin to see whether, whether talent sometimes is born. Is talent born? Somebody will ask, is talent born? Are we born with talent? Or is, something that, is, is talent something that can, be, that can be developed? Another person will tell you that they are, they are both. <laughs> they will tell you that talent, they, they are both. But I think that talent is something that everyone has. Everyone has an ability. Everyone has an ability. So one, everyone can learn something. Everyone can learn something. Two, everything you have can be developed. So once everyone has something, it means we are born with something. Everyone is born with something. But that something that you, have, you are born with alone is not enough. That, that thing that you think you are born with is not enough. It can still be developed. So when I'm scouting for a coach, I'm scouting for the coach's mindset and his characteristics. I'm scouting for a coach's mindset and his characteristics. Imagine I have a model that I have put in place. And the model is to, is to begin to develop, you know, homegrown, you know, materials, you know, if it is South Africa, maybe my, my, my aim is just to develop and I design a model. And once I'm able to design that model, I need to find a mindset and characteristics that can fit in it. And if you are bringing in a coach, the coach's mindset, the coach's belief in his mindset that anything can be developed, then he's a suitable uh, material. But if the coach's mindset gives him the opportunity to think that not everything can be developed, then he's not a, he, will not, he might not be a good fit in the environment because already you have, you have your instituted you know, programs, you have your instituted vision, you have, you have your, your direction. So we 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 now speaking about a vision on talent. So we develop and train players based on because we cannot go to the we cannot go to the market and pick players and say that oh because we want to pick we want to pick players so we go to the market. We can only get players on the on the players who are in the game. And the players who are in the game are are, are players that we're looking for those with the intelligence. And game intelligence does not necessarily mean that uh, uh, he plays so nicely. Game intelligence has to do with players who understand why, uh, uh, why you have to do, uh, 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 why you have to do, why you have to do what you are doing now. So players need to understand why they are doing what they are doing now. If players begin to understand why they are doing uh, what now, then it means the players know exactly why he's doing this. Because the game of football is a game that has a lot of, a lot of issues of moving forward. There are moments where we press forward. There are moments where we, uh, you know, the whole team is pressing vertically. There are times when the whole team is pressing horizontally. There are many times where movements are made backwards. 
there are many times when movement are, are done, you know, you know, uh, 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 sideways. There, there are movements where you have to do uh, what we call the the curve run and or the spin run. You know, they are all done based on reasons. And when players are able to understand the why, that is bringing about the what that he's doing, then then the player is able to replicate this in different aspects. So in looking for 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 a vision on talent, you are looking as for players who are able to, 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 to find out why, or he's able to even ask you, why, why are we asking us to do this? Why are we deciding that we didn't know to press forward and we need to wait and then do medium pressing? You know, the understanding of why helps in the application of the what. And on the second, in the second aspect, uh, the ability of players to be able to to, to have long-term uh, uh, memory is very important in the game. Because many times, players are not able to stay at that top level. If you give kids the opportunity to play the game, some of them get distract, distracted on a very minimum uh, stage. Others are able to focus on doing one particular thing on a very long time. That's, that could engineer you to be able to spot this one as a talent. And so, Players that are able to stay, play, you know, stay on the long term, and then uh, and then still have good memory of what is expected of them is an aspect of, you know, talent and education. The third aspect is that once you continue to drive a, a, a particular car, maybe Simon is driving one particular car for a long time. He will become more 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 used, and then he will become more identified, and he will. He will he will become more flexible and then and then know the nitty gritty of that of that particular of the, of that particular car what it tells us is that if you stay in an environment maybe maybe uh, 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 Odigon in, in nigeria has his he's, he's, an, he's in an area that he's, he's a chef in that area that he knows the area very very, very well if he stays in that area for a long time and he's the type that goes out for a long time definitely he was, he's going to be more more akin and then more familiar with the area, better than a new person. So is it that if, 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 if children or if players have the opportunity of playing so many games, if they play so many games, all that I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak about is that irrespective of uh, talent, someone is born with a talent or with developed talent, the most important thing is that once you have opportunity of playing the game for a longer time, you have the opportunity of learning with the game. So people who are, who are in the game, that's why I said that to understand the, people who understand the game are people that we have to look for, either coaches or players. We have to look for this one. Because they, have, they are in the game for some time, it gives them the opportunity to learn because they have played the game on the streets. Maybe if you pick somebody like Messi, for instance, Messi, Messi or, or, or Cristiano Ronaldo, somebody will ask the two of them, if somebody asks, asks the two of them, who, 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 who will be called a, you know, a, a natural born talent? I know many, many will be speaking about, many will be speaking about uh, uh, Messi in that, in that instant. Oh, he's, 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 a, he's a born talent. But, the, but, the, but the, clear, the clear understanding is that Messi played football you know, right from his youthful period both on the on the gravel pitches on the on the on the streets of Argentina on the on the artificial turf on the on the on the on the grass on the grass you know you know he's played football all all his time so he will become more acquainted in the game in, in, in the in that environment of, of his chosen profession and then and then uh, if you look at uh, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo and then uh, or if you speak about uh, Abedi Pele and then if we speak about uh, 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 Rashid Yakini, if we if we, if you speak about uh, about uh, Tony Yabua, yes, you 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 defeat that. I remember when Abedi Pele was speaking about his upbringing. He said he lived in in a in a small in a small village close to Accra at the time, and he and and someone someone saw him always having the, the a great passion about our football. He found himself in football at the time. He played a lot of football around. And that was how he was, he was uh, 
identified. He was discovered. And once he was discovered, he was moved to uh, uh, Great Farkos in Accra. And Great Farkos is, is one, of the, one, of the, one of the more organized, organized clubs, not, not more organized in terms of uh, technicalities, but in terms of environment. Because he was in the village, now he's in, he's in the city. So he had the opportunity of playing more games also. And playing more games also functions out the, the other aspects that are in, in, in a person. The cognitive part of the brain of the player is the part that, that you know, we need the, 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 the neuroscientists scientists to, to also come in and then to help in others. Technically and physically, we need players who, who are able to stay at the, uh, of, uh, at the top level for the, for, 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 uh, uh, in optimum condition. Because in technicalities, at the top, some players are able to play in very small areas. Others are only able to exist when the area is big. So when you, are play, when you are identifying talent and then you keep them in these small areas, that is where you are able to see who, those who can still use their cognitive, cognitive part of the, of the brain in terms of movements that are going on their blind side and the movement that, that are, are put just, just in front of them. And we have others who are 24 seven focused on performing. Give them the opportunity to play and then they don't get distracted. 24 seven, he's in the game and then he stays up in the game throughout. We have strong personalities in terms of uh, looking out for the vision for talent, strong personalities in the sense that they don't get distracted. They, 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 they can be abused, you know, both culturally and then different aspects, just as uh, uh, Odigon asked earlier on. But because he knows what he's in there for, he, he has the passion, the passion keeps the person moving on because passion, passion pushes you to get whatever you do in order to, to get what you think you need. So in terms of uh, the other aspect that we speak about will be the ambition. Your vision, your ambition pushes you in, in terms of getting what you want to do in the, in, the, in the long run. And that is why in Africa, we are champions in selecting wrong talents or people. We are, we, are, we, are, we are really very champions in doing that. What am I saying this? Do we give, do we give chances to people who, who, who look like the best or we are giving chances to people who are really the best talent in the future? Talent is all about thinking about what we want to, to become in the future as we, we spoke in the early points of our presentation. So, so all that we want to speak about is that we want to just take care to look for, not looking for only the current performance and always forget about potential for the future. Three things come into mind. The potential talent requirement. We're looking at speed. We're looking at cognitive. We're looking at temperament. Now, in terms of speed, if we're looking at for talent, some talents are, are identified when we are young. And three things that, are, that comes in children is speed, cognitive, and temperament. These three components are components that are genetic. They are genetic in, in sense that fast switch muscle fibers and then the, uh, uh, which are red or white are in the person. And in terms of speed, in football, we need players who are sprinters. If you find players who are sprinters, it means they are the ones that have the white, uh, 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 percent, higher percentage of the fiber uh, 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 muscles. Now, those with, the, those with the, the red, those with higher percentage of uh, red fiber muscle groups, and we all know that red, Red is blood, and in blood we have oxygen. And in oxygen means that they are, they are, they are personalities that can stay in the game on a pro prolonged period, and just like the, the marathoners. So, and we, you need marathoners to be able to do this. But in football, we need players who are 
who are sprinters. And the sprinters are those with a higher percentage of uh, the white uh, fiber uh, muscle groups. In cognitive aspects, we need players with quick process of information. Players that are able to process, first identify or pick up information. And once they are able to pick up information, they are able to process this information. And, and we need the brain, brain uh, experts in terms of the neurosciences to be able to tell us for, uh, in, on a long, in, on a long, pro, uh, on a long term projection, how this brain will be able to develop on a longer term span. Quick question here for you, Coach, yeah. uh, from Ruben. Yeah. I think uh, it's, uh, it's in line with what you were saying. Ruben, go ahead. You want to unmute yourself and ask your question? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Coach, for this opportunity. Yeah. And, uh, it's very, very informational. Well, I have uh, my first question. It goes back to the, the, the definition of talent, as you were yeah. explaining. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I misunderstood you, so I, I would want to understand if yeah. you say that if you have the skill set or the technique mm. and we could see it from that young age, mm. if you are not persevering or if you are not putting too much in it, are you saying that does it mean you don't have the talent? Or because I, 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 that's how I understood it. So I would like mm. you to clarify that part, please. Yeah. Good point. Skill, skill, having the technical skill is a basic component of, of talent. Mm. Skill alone is not enough. The skill alone, and I, I use uh, Abedi Pele, and then I, I use Cristiano Ronaldo as, uh, as basic, of, uh, basic, basic examples, that the passion they had for the game the passion was a driving tool that, that put them in, in a lot of games, that put them, put them in a lot of uh, stages of the game in terms of uh, having the opportunity to play on the, on, the, on the gravel pitches, having the opportunity to play on the, on the, on the grass pitches, having the opportunity to play on the, on, the, on the artificial pitches. And that is why I use an example of uh, Simon, and I and uh, I use uh, I use uh, uh, Odegon also as an as, as an example that that as much as you stay in the game and then you are so passionate, you are passion alone is a big drive. Passion alone, the fact that you have the technical skills alone is not enough. Technical skills alone will not will not will not help in the achievement of the talent that that has in you. You need to be exactly. pushed. You need to yeah. be pushed with the with the with the, with the passion, passion, mm. passion, passion in itself, passion in, in, in itself is a natural drive. It drives you to be able to create, to be able to be very in, in need of something badly, something that, mm. that you really, you want to suffer. And that's why I use an example of a, 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 a passion being a Latin word. A, mm. a one part of it is party, which is suffering. You need to, mm. you need to suffer, you need to, you know, you need to push yourself in, an, in in something of an extra. And that mm. is why talent in itself, you know, some would define talent to be, to be, to be, you know, not just, not just average, something that is more than average. Some talent is something that is more than average. Something, mm. talent should be something that, 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 that should be appreciated by others. Talent has to be something that is unique. Talent should be something that is a, it should be something that is worth of a value, you know, mm. The fact that you can pass the ball, you know, everyone is basic. Everyone can pass the ball. The, pa the fact that you can dribble the ball, everyone can dribble the ball, you know, pass someone. The, the fact that you can just stand at one point and shoot the ball at goal, you know, is just a, 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 a reminiscent of a talent. You need something that can continue to drive you. And that is why I use the example of, of, a, of a Cristiano Ronaldo and then using a, a sorry, using a... a uh, using a, a, a Messi and, and giving an example that Messi played in different in different environments and playing in different environment means that means that uh, you know gives you a lot of experiences gives you a lot of you know football situations gives you a lot of uh, scenarios 
because okay. playing the playing on a on a on on a gra- gravel pitch in Africa, mm. you know, is something that the European boy will have to feel, you know, mm. in, in order to appreciate that ah, that is why the African boy is is so uh, you know dynamic in terms of uh, his uh, his uh, his creativity, you know. So 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 I I think that talent goes beyond just the ability to be able to have a technical skill and 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 that. For me, I can pick a player even when 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 he's resilient, and think that uh, for me that's the talent I, I've seen in him. The fact that the person is uh, that's why I use personality, and I said players who can stay 24/7 in the game. The fact that you can you can you you look aggressive in terms of your 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 personality in the game. You know, I'm I'm sure when we when we get to the tail end of our presentation, you will appreciate all that. I'm, I'm, I'm but just I want you to just be in tune with us. Uh, in yeah. terms of uh, uh, our definition of, uh, of, 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 of what talent is. So that, uh, yeah. that's why I said that I will not I say what, but by the time you... we end, the, we end the, the, our conversation, we all will understand what was really talent. Yeah, yeah. Coach, I agree uh, with everything you said. Everything you said makes, makes sense. What my question was like, because yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that mm. basically if you have talent and you don't mm. put it in the work, you don't meet your potential. Is that mm. can we agree on that one? If you have it and you don't put in the work, because I think there could be a play, a young boy, and you could see what he is capable of. But just because he, he doesn't have what you explained, which is the passion, the perseverance, the resilience, that doesn't mean he doesn't have the talent. Not at all. Or what do you think? What do you think? Exactly. No. That doesn't mean he doesn't have it. Or no. but or is that so but so basically, it's like talent and works makes you meet it. But I think we, we kind of, conf- this is where I'm confused that I don't know if you're explaining talent and works or you see the talent as a whole package. Because if you have talent, what I understand is if you have talent, you are not there yet. Like the no. Christianos and the Abedis that you explained, I'm thinking no. they had the talent, but they worked their way up like you explained. Is that not true? Yeah. That, okay. is ba- that is basically basically what what it is. But remember, mm-hmm. uh, on the on on the third point, yeah. we, when 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 I asked what is talent, and then mm-hmm. we came up with a more than average. We came up with a passion. We came up with a, something that we have, uh, to sacrifice to get. We came up with perseverance. We came up with uh, technical skills. We came up, and uh, and I said technical skills is just basic. Mm-hmm. Because because we want people who are in the game, mm-hmm. so you want to identify a talent. Because and I gave an example that you cannot go to the to the you cannot go to the to the market, mm-hmm. and then say you want to identify a talent into football. Is it possible? No. No. If you want to identify a talent in in the grounds of football, you have to look for people who understand the game, right? Yeah. Yes. And so and so and that's why I asked the question. I said. Is talent something that we are born with? And I asked I again. Was, and yeah. I asked again. I said, "Is talent that we can? Is is talent a talent something that we can? Is it something that we can develop?" And I went on to say that it's both. And mm-hmm. I went on to talk about uh, the genetic component of of talent identi- a potential talent identification. And that is mm-hmm. where I spoke about I spoke about vision on talent, on uh, speed, uh, cognitive, and then uh, temperament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's why I went on to say that, you know, uh, in, in, in terms of our genetic, uh, 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 young, young boys and girls have a component, a little uh, aspect of uh, genetic influence in terms of speed, cognitive, and mm-hmm. temperament. Mm-hmm. And then I spoke about, uh, I spoke about uh, the first uh, 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 muscle, 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 uh, percentage of muscle, muscle, muscle fibers, which influences what type of muscles uh, you have. And that is where that is where we use the neurosciences in order to be able to support us in this in this aspect, because mm. we know we know red in, in our human 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 embodiment is blood, and we know blood is full of what oxygen, and we know oxygen oxygen gives a lot of energy in terms of at least being able to stay for a longer term in terms of their endurance, and we know that the, those who have uh, or the white uh, a, a percentage, a higher percentage of of uh, 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 muscle fiber groups are the ones that can contract, you know, their 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 muscles quickly and then are sprinters. 
And in football, we want people who are, who are fast. We want people mm -hmm. who, who, who are quick. And so if you find somebody in that aspect, even if technically the person is no good, I just want you to understand exactly what I'm, what I'm even if technically yeah, yeah, the, yeah, person, yeah. the person is average, if technically the person is average, and you see the person has that, that speed component in him, it becomes a talent. So all that you have to do is that you have to discover it first. Because if, 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 if I'm so quick and then, and then people don't tell me that ah, you are quick and use me in terms of my ability to, to, to use that speed as a, as a huge component and as, as an influence in our game, then I don't even come to realize what, what I had in, in terms of that. And that is the aspect that coaches need to be able to identify, discover, and then develop. So, so say, same goes to the other components of cogn uh, 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 cognition and then the temperament. It, you know, somebody who has temperament is somebody who is motivated enough, you know, in order to be able to, to, be able to achieve something. He, he wants to do something. He wants, he needs it so badly. So he's motivated, irrespective of where he's staying. He, he wants, he will come. He will come and then he will give it everything. You, and you can see how, how, how aggressive, you can see how, how, how passionate he, you know, he, has, he is in terms of how he goes about it. So, so uh, in all, having said all this, thing, technical skills alone is not, is, is not in, it's, just a part, it's just a part of it. Technical skills is just a part of it. But the fact that the person has the opportunity, the opportunity to, to, to be there present and have the chance to be in the game. And that's why I use that we need people who understand the game, people who are in the game. Are, are the ones that can, easy, can easily have the, got all these components that I spoke about. They are, they are in, in it. When you find people playing football, you find all these things. But sometimes we neglect them. Sometimes we, we neglect them and focus on only, only the aspect that, that we can see. Maybe he's technically very good and based on his, because he's technically very good, he can take on everyone and everybody appreciates and then respect, respects that, that aspect. But that is the thinking that I want us to go beyond. That is the thinking that I want us to go beyond. And that is the aspect that Africa, we have been very, we have been very used to this, 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 this aspect, aspect of it. And that is why I put something down here. I said, in Africa, we are champions in selecting wrong talents or people. Talent not, not only necessary as the player, even talent as a coach. If I'm picking a coach into, into, into a model that we have, I'm not looking at, at what what the coach will be able to do at that time. I'm looking at the mindset of the coach. I'm looking at the mindset of the coach and his characteristics. At least I found him from football. So I'll pick him and then, and then, and then begin to find out that does he believe in what we're doing in terms of that every talent can be, can be, uh, 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 can be developed. Everything can be developed. Everything can be developed. And everybody has the, the capability of learning something. Everybody has the capability of learning. So, so if I find out that the person's, the person's uh, uh, mindset is not the mindset that has the belief that every, every, everything, everything can be learned, then it means the person doesn't fall as a fit in, into, the, into the program that we are speaking about. Because, yeah, but, because yeah, but coach, that, does, yeah. that doesn't mean that the person doesn't have a talent, though. No, no, no. Okay. That doesn't mean that the person doesn't have a talent. Okay, no, okay. That doesn't yeah. mean that the person doesn't have a talent. And in another model, in another model, and that is why I said, in our model, we are looking at, at, this, at the extent of where we want to compete. We want mm -hmm. to compete on a, on, a, on a stage against the best, mm -hmm. against those who have bigger muscles in terms of their huge, huge uh, budgetary allocation. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we don't have that budgetary allocation as we, we, we do in, in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. now the, a player, a player that, uh, San, uh, a player that um, uh, would I say, uh, Santos maybe from, from South Africa, a player that, uh, or, okay, or, or Marisberg, a player that Marisberg wants in Ghana, and then, and then Liverpool comes to look for that player. Does Maris, Marisberg, do you have the chance to, to, to get that player? Simon, just, just, just give me either a thumbs up or, or, or a yes signal. You don't have the chance. But I, I still believe that you still, you still, will, still will, you will find somebody of that same level. You will find a player, maybe he's a 15, uh, he's a, bi his biological age is uh, maybe 2006. 2006 means, uh, uh, yeah, 2006. 
means that uh, under 14. A 2006 year old of that same person, of that same uh, uh, quality. But me, meanwhile, that, that other one has not been trained by, by professionals. So, mm -hmm. so nobody sees his capabilities at that, at that time. I'll pick, I'll pick that, that person, the one that has not been exposed. His, poten his, his potential abilities will be more than the one that is being seen today. Exactly, because the fact that he hasn't been seen or but that is the, the, so all that we are speaking about is potential talent. We should be okay. we should be quick in identifying potential talents than just talent of today. That is my point. That is the point that I'm 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 I'm, I'm okay, speaking about. Okay. Okay. Then I then I understand you now. I understand what you mean. That now. is the point we are speaking about, and the okay. point we are speaking about that everybody has the capability of learning anything. That's true. The first aspect that the person needs to have is what passion. The fact that the person can dribble the ball very well and without passion, he will not get anywhere. Because, because the, person, the, person, the person is born with it. You are born with it, still you need to be developed. Mm -hmm. To the benefit of the team. Because remember what we said. Simon, I, I believe you are following. Remember what we said. We said at the end, we want to create a winning team, right? We said we want to create a winning yeah. team. And in creating a winning team, the idea is that we need to create a winning team. Every player in our squad must be an important component. He could be somebody with temperament. He could be somebody with a, with a, with a, 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 a quick processing of information. So cognitive piece, he's strong there. So in 10 years, we are sure that his brain is going to be a big brain. He's, he's, he's going to be in the game. In, and that's why when you give them the game, they are able to find the game difficulties and solving them. Not even the coach coming in the game. The coach only tries to set up scenarios, coaching scenarios, so that the, the very, the very uh, huge, talented ones will be able to carry the, the average ones al, 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 along. Because they are able to uh, they identify the, the difficulties and solving them as they go. So I, I, hope, I hope you are, you are uh, aligned with us now, right? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my next question was you yeah, were explaining ahead. about the, sci the uh, new science about everything. Mm -hmm. And then you talked about the lack of finance that Africans have, comp uh, like the experience compared to the European ones. Mm -hmm. So we, the Africans that are not able to have the technology or the finance mm -hmm. to be able to do all these kinds of things that you, that you talked mm -hmm. about, how do you how how do you go about your scouting or your development of talent when you don't have these structures, these proper structures or these uh, facilities to help you, like the 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 person in the Western world? Yeah, you and and that is the page that is the stage uh, the 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 game has 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 gotten to, and uh, I, I remember I was speaking with a uh, with. with uh, we we're, we we're talking about uh, the ability to to so if if I have somebody who is um, of uh, maybe two thousand and five, and then uh, and then uh, who is in uh, who is in the same uh, age group with another person, and then the the and then the, the 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 other one has been coached by 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 professionals, and this one and then they are the, on the same level, and this one has not been co coached by 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 professionals. A, a professional in the sense of the institution, I'll pick the other one because the other one's potential is huge. That has not been tapped yet. Even though he stays on the same level with this one who, who has had the progression of a, a good transitional period up to where, where you met them. You realize that the other one that has not been coached who, or who, has been, who was scouted from the village, if, if, this, if they are the, on the same level, the same qualities, pick the other one from the village. The other one from the village will make it because he has a huge potential. The huge potential is that already this one has been coached by professionals and, the, and, and he's still on the same level with the, with, with, with the other one. And the other one will only become a late developer in terms of when they are getting to their, their, their sensitive, uh, sensitive period. Because bio, biologically, uh, boys, boys start, start to develop um, at the age of 13, and then by the by the 14, they are they are at their peak, and then by by 15, they are they are they have they have finished with their group. 
girls start at 12, 13, they are their peak, and then 14, they, they, they have ended their group. But still, we have, we have late developers. And, and the, fact that, the fact that we say he ends his group at, at age 15 doesn't necessarily mean that at age 15, the person will not grow. Sometimes the environment influences this. Maybe at age 14, he, he started having the opportunity of being in a more terrain, terrain environment, which gives, him, which gives the player you know, the opportunity to be, to be in, a, in a better form. And your, your, your question is that uh, in Africa, what are we supposed to be doing in order to be able to, in order to, be able to, to still cope with this, with this situation? Now, one important, one important aspect that I have said and will, will continue to speak about is that we need, we need when, you, when you look at the way if you sometimes we pick our, our U17, U17, do we pick them based on the fact that our projection is that if, 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 they are, if we pick them when they are 10 years, our projection is that when they are, when they are, when they are in 10 years' time, they should be 20. And when they are 20, they should have played in our under 20s and then they have played in our, in our under 23 and then they are projection. So in 25 years, you should be thinking that in, the, in 25 years, they should be able to win something for us. And when we are able to be, to, if, when we are able to think like this, then we should, be, we should be experts in putting the right people in the right places. Because, mm. because when, you, when you think about immediate success, then you think about just today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and the next season, then mm -hmm. it means you are only thinking about how to win, how to qualify for the, for the AFCON for the U17. Simon, is that right? <laughs> so you are no, thinking I agree, about I agree, just I agree to, with you. I agree with you. Just to qualify for this one. And when you begin thinking about just to qualify for just the AFCON here, then you are ne ne negating the aspect of winning. In the, it means you would have relegated players who would have been able to fit in, in for the 2025 20, period. So this 2025 20, period are going to be passing in a different, they are going to be on a different pathway. But these boys know themselves. So they know themselves in the sense that they knew that during the under 17 period, these ones were there. But at, and in the long run, they didn't get there, but others have rather been in the, in the, senior, in the, senior, in the senior national team. And that is, the point, that is the point of our discussion. The point of our discussion is that we should be able to identify, you know, potential talents for a for longer period. Mm -hmm. Not just thinking about today and tomorrow. When we begin mm -hmm. thinking about just today and tomorrow, then we are negating what the future lies for us. But our, our, everything of ours should rather be targeted for the future. The future, the future is what we should be targeting for. Which, uh, quick Thank question so here. Thank Let me jump in. Um, obviously, you've talked about the late bloomers, uh, and then the early bloomers. Um, yeah. So at White to Dream or FC Nordjylland, uh, how do you guys make sure that, well, if you go back, let me back up for a second. Um, yeah. In the kids' environment, obviously, the early bloomers would have an advantage over the, the late bloomers. Mm. Um, so at White to Dream or FC Nordjylland, how do you make sure that the late bloomers are all caught up or catching up with uh, the early bloomers in terms of development. Yeah, so 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 basically, basically what we we try to to do in a, in FTN is that we because we we need to to challenge them, challenge them in the sense that if you pick maybe uh, uh, two thousand six year born, uh, uh, that is a actual date of birth. And then uh, if you look at the biological, biological age, then, then maybe because the boy is physically, is physically big and then uh, he's, he's a strong guy within that age group, it, it doesn't become more challenging for him. And then his development is not moving faster than before. So he's, he's moved up you know, to play for the, for the, for the U19s. And, 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 by, and by, by so doing, you realize that the good, the, the the uh, one uh, uh, what do we call uh, the late so, bloomer? So, yeah, the the late the late bloomer. The, his advantage is that he's he's forced he's forced to adapt quickly because his integration with, with the with that age is it's a challenging age. He's now being challenged, 
So, 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 so two things that comes into mind is that he's, he's, he's challenged and he's forced to adapt. He's, he's forced to adapt because, because he's, not, he's not there yet. And then he's, 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 he's now competing with, with a, a higher age group. And that is where the creativity comes. That is where you find the creativity. The creativity comes when he now thinks that, no, these ones are, are, are bigger. They are bigger, they are quicker. So what I have to do is that I have to be working on my, on my positioning. So, but, so this player, begin, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah for, for the late bloomer though, that becomes a little bit of a disadvantage because let's say the attributes, he's physically, he's disadvantaged, he's got yeah. no speed. Maybe he's got the, the technique, all right, but yeah. physically he's at a disadvantage because he can't yeah. compete with the other bloomers yes. at that age. So for him, I think his development in that environment is impeded rather than growing. So for him, do you put those guys in, in, in different environments just so they can catch up a little bit or do you just leave them to, to no, catch up see, with that? In, in, in that aspect, the, the, point, the point of what was, the, what, what was discovered as his, uh, as his talent, maybe, maybe, he was, maybe his cognitive aspect was, was the key aspect. He's, able, he's a good game reader. He reads the game ahead of ev 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 everyone. So, so irrespective of him, if irrespective of him, you know, competing with bigger boys is still not a weak. It's, it's still not a weakness. His sense of positioning, his sense of position, and then you you find now that he's able to come out with his creativity. His creativity will be his sense of positioning. His creativity will be his side. Uh, his ability to always read ahead of the uh, ahead of the other group so even though the other group they look bigger than he is but his his ability to see the game ahead of them is higher so you you find out that he, he looks smaller in that group but still he makes you know he, he identifies information he picks information and then he processes information better than even the bigger the, the bigger one so it's not a deficient could there be a possibility that because he's uh, he's smaller, even though he's intelligent, mm. but he's uh, the disadvantage side affects his advantage side? Could that be a possibility? Because 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 the, the fact that the fact that he's 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 young, let's let's use the fact that he's young, or the fact that he's he's big. The, the fact that he's, he's, he looks big in terms of size, in terms of his physicality, in terms of height, means that if you are using his biological, if you are using his biological attribute, means that if he's going to work with, maybe assuming he's working with a, a, a year group of a, a 2008, then he's going to be a bully in the group and he's not going to be challenged. Even though that is his, that is his, uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, chronological age group. Can I, can, I, can I just ask something in the chip? Yes. Yeah. Um, because from my understanding, because we had the same issue with uh, all the late maturity players. Yeah. And uh, here we do we call it soap, where you overload for them mm -hmm. to adapt. So, yeah. for example, like he's 15 and he's small, and you overload him with under 17s, under 18s, yeah. so that he can adapt. But then the question becomes the mm -hmm. FAs and the club's philosophy. Are you looking to win at under 18 or are you looking to win in five years? Because if he's a small and he's playing at under 18, you're not going to win games. You're going yeah. to lose games. Don't but be, worried about, don't be worried about the winning. Remember it's, what we so said. That's where it comes to say, is the pressure to win. For example, like you're saying now, coach, I'll give you an example. I saw Ghana at under 17 World Cup doing well, under 20 World Cup winning, right? Mm -hmm. Which is very yeah. good. Yes. What happened to the generation went to the season? So if, if you can you look at teams like Argentina and them, they don't win as much. They do well, mm. but they don't win as much at that level. But because their players are being overloaded mm. the whole time, they're being overloaded, overloaded. They play mm. under 20 World Cup with 16, 15 year olds mm. and they're being overloaded. But mm. by the time they get to 23, 25, they've adapted and they're mm. at a higher level. But that's, mm. that's what I think. I think it's, it's like Coach is saying, sometimes you need to overload them. But then you mm. also have to understand that you're sacrificing, for example, mm. maybe winning that under 17 league because mm. to you it's not important. Mm. Yeah, but, could, but I'm saying, on. can an overload, I understand the overload part, yeah. can an overload end up becoming a disadvantage? No. It's, you see, when you look at it from, from, a, from a, a short term 
you know, view, then you tell that it's, 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 a, it's a disadvantage. What, what, what do you intend to win? Remember what we said? We said, Simon, you remember we said from our initial point, yeah. We want to create no, it's not, a winning it's, I'm, environment. I'm not even thinking about winning, just, just pure no, no, performance. I, you know, yes, I, you, you know, uh, uh, I just want us to always have, you remember what I said that, yeah, when I said three things are paramount. Remember mm -hmm. the three important aspects that I spoke about? I said one is, I spoke about what is really a talent inside, not, not what looks like a talent. Yeah. What is what really is the talent inside? The one that is inside you don't normally see, it, but because you have identified and discovered it, it is your it is your it is your uh, responsibility. It is your it is your motivation. It is your duty to be able to work towards making it felt, and then taking it to the last phase. And the last phase is how to how to create a what a winning team. Yeah. These are the three major aspects that I, I said. There are three very important things that we need to look at when we are speaking about what? Talent. That what is really a talent inside? Not, not, not just what looks like a talent. And the second one was that how do you develop, how do you develop uh, 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 people to get the best out of themselves? So, so just like uh, Simon spoke about, if you saw that, yeah, but he's not, he's not giving you the, 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 the results. The results at that time is not what you are looking for. You are looking for results in 10 years. You are looking for results in five years. You are, so if you pick somebody who is, somebody who is uh, assuming he's 15 years, he's 15 years. By the time, if, even in minimum, in minimum term, five years. In five years, he's already 20. 20, he's a first team player. He's a full professional. He's a first team player. If you have your national team and you have players who are playing, you have 20, average age of 20, 20 to 25 years and playing, they, have, they still have five years more, more, more to end up. Those who are 50, 25 years, they have at least five years to, 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 to battle with their career. And they, that is their peak. That is, that is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That is yeah. the, the sort of talent environment that we need to, to try to create. And I but, like this challenge of, yes, Go ahead. No, I just also just to ask something and maybe just bring to light because I think this is also very specific to, to individual players because like we're saying, maybe there's a smaller boy who's got a better understanding of the game and cognitive skills where he gets into good areas. Maybe he's learning to take less touches and learning to avoid contact. So maybe you overload him with an older group. But also there's players that maybe he's 15 years old, but he's, he's biologically, he's 19. He's got a big body. He's got everything. So maybe you want to mm. teach him not to rely too much on his mm. physical and to understand the game a so, bit more. So when you don't push him. Players, and then now he's not the fastest, he's not the strongest. So now he has to start to tap into other skills and he has to learn different things as well. So I yes. think it's, it's, it's very specific. It's, it's not one way. Maybe, maybe some yeah. player mentally is not strong enough. He's, he's a potential, he's a late mature, but he's not strong enough mentally. So maybe you don't throw him in a bigger age group. Maybe you keep him in the same age group, but you challenge him in different ways. Maybe you play him in a different position to learn different things. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's very, very specific, but it, it's, it's the idea of understanding that. That is the point. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is all about the model. Mm -hmm. The model you put in place as a club, the model you put in place as a nation. That this is what we, that is, that is why you, you remember in my first slide, I said, you need to think, you need to think differently and act differently and then i ended up by saying that you need to think logically and how do you think logically because you need to think logically logically because you want to move from how you are going to move from a to b now we have a player we have a, a player we have a player as i speak now majority of our players are within the ages of uh, we have a player who is a 2003 boy in our, in our first team. He is still not finished playing the, the, U, the U8, U19 squad, but he's in the first team. When you look at, he's a Nigerian, Nigerian Danish boy. When you look at his frame, he's a big guy. How do you play him with the U17? You are going to waste, you are going to waste, you are going to waste his talent. 
you are going to waste things. You are going to waste things. And then, and then, and then you, you are aware, you are definitely aware that his, his, uh, uh, his cognitive, cognitive intuition, you know, though he has a level of intelligence, but his cognitive intuition is still not matured, right? So you are aware of this, all these circumstances because it is in your model. And then you are also aware that in terms of, in terms of temperament, you need to train him for. Remember I said temperament and cognitive and then, uh, and then speed, they could be genetic, but they can be trained for. Mm -hmm. so, so, you, you, so you get to realize that he's a young boy. He has that, those big, these big muscles. He has the capability. If he's playing with, with his uh, a, 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 a chronological age group, it will not help him. You will need to push him up in terms of uh, the biological age. So, so you are aware of all these situations that you are, you are monitoring all these aspects in, in terms of taking care of him. That is the key word in football. Taking care of him in this situation, taking care of how you are dosing him, because if if you still leave him, already the muscles are developing. If you still leave him in within that within his uh, chronological age, then you have not helped him. He will be a very he will be a champion in that in that area. He will kill everybody in that area, but at the end of the day, he will have to take a longer time in terms of his sensitive period to adapt into that into that into the sensitive period in terms of his stamina, in terms of his uh, in, uh, uh, strength and other components that he needed to have done this, you know, in terms of uh, the way he, he is developing. So in our model, we, we know about all these situations that when we, once we are able to know that the, 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 the player's, you know, ability of, uh, or, or the player's uh, potential talent has been identified or discovered, discovered we don't wait, wait much time for him to stay with the with the U with the U U15 group or U U17 group, he's promoted to the to the U19 group. Sometimes some, sometimes he trains with them and then he goes down. That's why you have to do the undulating. You know, you have to undulate him. Sometimes he trains with them here. He goes to play some some tough games for the U17 and then sometimes he comes in here. So in terms of his dose, you know how to dose him. You know exactly that some matches he goes to play here. Some matches really suit for him for the for his actual age group. And some matches does not fit for him because those matches become below belt. And you want to keep him, you know, the belt that you want to keep with him should be above belt so that to challenge him in terms of uh, meeting, meeting his state. All that is important is that you need to discover this. Try as, every, as, as much as possible, try to discover, discover what, what that talent is. What is it? Try to make sure that you, have, you discover it for his speed. The other components can be trained for, but the genetic ones are very key. If you are able to identify them, it's, it's good to try to develop, to develop them. If you are able to, de 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 uh, uh, if you are able to decipher that, uh, oh, his, his, cognitive, his cognitive aspect in terms of uh, 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 his uh, uh, picking up information and processing of information and then, and then, and then being able to stay you know, at top level, you know, his memory uh, aspect, he can stay at the top level for a longer time. He can stay up in the game 24-7 with football without getting bored. Some, you give them football, you know, seven days in the week and then already they are fed up. You know, when you test in terms of a, co a, a cognitive aspect, you know, giving them some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, cognitive programs, you know, to see how he will be able to stay up in, in that level will help you to be able to improve them because you need all this, 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 this type of persons in the, in the game. Coach, I have a question. Yes, and, uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to ask you as a coach, right? I want, I want you to tell me which one do you prefer. Do you, <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you prefer the guy with that genetics that you explained mm -hmm. but has less skill and technique to develop or the guy who has a, a, ver a better skill and technique than that one but then doesn't, doesn't have the speed and all that? Which one mm -hmm. would you prefer to have in your team? Because you said that all of them... Uh, you said that all of them can be developed. So I'm yes. asking you as a coach, which one, yeah. which one would you look at first between those two players? When, when I have 100%, uh, let me give you a scenario. Okay. Uh, we, uh, uh, technique, tactic, uh, 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 psychology, and then... Uh, and then uh, Mental side. And then and then and then uh, and then physical, uh, yeah. 
four, four components. They are the, they are the uh, we call them the, the, the fundamental criteria of football. Mm -hmm. Now, this fundamental criteria of football, there are four components, right? I spoke about mm -hmm. uh, uh, psychology, I spoke about physical, I spoke about tactics and then technique. They are the things that you need in football. These are mm -hmm. everything that you need in football. That is uh, uh, the fundamental criteria of football. So if I ask, if I ask, I'm not answering you the question. If I ask, mm -hmm. what percentage will you give to each? What will you tell me? For me, if you ask me, I'll tell you that they all have 25%, 25% each. Um, well, okay, me personally, for me, I think some of them, mm -hmm. some of them, there's some of them that if it's higher, mm -hmm. it could make up for the, for the other ones that he doesn't have. So really? like, like, let me, like, let me give an example. Like, yeah. let's say a, a young, a young Xavi, right? Xavi mm -hmm. Hernandez. Yes. He's not physically built. Like physically, yes. he's he's not there. Mm. But then, what what do we know about Zabi? The thing he, is, the ball he knows well. he doesn't have the speed. He knows he doesn't mm. have the physicality. But he doesn't lose the ball. Mm. You understand? So mm. so even if that technique and that skill and that 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 smartness is there, mm. if that is fifty percent and physicality is like ten, the ten or twenty percent, I would take that fifty percent. That is just me. So what, in your opinion, maybe unfortunately, how you, unfortunately, yeah. in football you you will not say so. In football, they are all very strong components. They are all very important components. You cannot take one and leave the other. Because yeah, but cannot, all of them. No, play no football, in the game. Yeah, but coach, yeah. no football has the same thing though. It cannot yes. be twenty five. But I'm telling you, but I'm but I'm telling you that there's no way that there's no way that you say that you value speed more than technique or you value technique more than speed or you value uh, physical conditioning more than more than psychology they no, no, no. why I'm they are the, that, the, the fundamental criteria of football i'm saying that if there's a, there's a skill set that can make up for the the, the deficiency I've, i will I've take you, that uh, yeah i've told you what i will do you okay know, okay because, because and that is why in in football we train for mm. all mm -hmm. we train for all these aspects that's why we mm. have experts in terms of the mind yeah. We have, we have in our institutions, we have coaches who are specifically devoted on what on the on the on the mental aspect. Mm. If it is not an if it's not an important component, we will not do that. Understood. The component of a response sciences department. Mm. If it is not if the physical aspect, physical conditioning aspect is not important, we will not devote devote time time for it. And that is why mm. they are all separate departments within one 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 big huge department. It tells mm. how important these components are, even though we have very individual differences. Mm -hmm. and, that, mm -hmm. and that is why, that is why the, 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 the genetic and then the, the potential talent requirement is needed in, in speed, cognitive and temperamental aspects. Because mm. we know that in any case, these, these aspects, you know, they, they stand out, even though they give you an edge, but it doesn't say that one one should be valued more than the other. It just tells you that mm -hmm. there are very important components of the sport mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. need to be developed. That mm -hmm. if you find someone who is born with it, mm -hmm. perfect. Then yeah. it means it means once you are born, one, once you, you think you are born with it, you are genetically you are born with it. It doesn't mm -hmm. stand there. It doesn't it doesn't end there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end there. If you if you think that oh I, 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 well, this boy is a gifted player, he's gifted. You, you end up being, people, being, uh, people beginning to say that this boy, he used to be gifted. When they, when they start saying this, this boy used to be gifted, what does that mean? It means you are relegated to the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means, it means that, that gift was not developed. And that is, remember what I said from the, from the first slide. I said, mm -hmm. everybody has something that can be what? Developed. Developed, yeah. And that is why when you are picking somebody to work, for you, if that person's mindset doesn't fall, and uh, if, his, if his mindset and then uh, and the characteristics does not form with the with the with the mindset of thinking that everybody can be developed, then he cannot fit. That person cannot fit in in in, in that model. Mm -hmm. That does it does it does it make sense? No, it, it does. It does. Yes. I wasn't I wasn't trying to devalue that. No, no, no. I, no. I just, understand. Yeah, I yeah, like that yeah, point, yeah. and that is okay. why I. That is why I, I stood on my ground. I, okay. I, I know I, I understand what you're saying. I, 
I, I, I, that's an interesting one because we also had a similar argument like that. And, and one of the coaches there said something that I thought was very helpful. Like you're saying, the four things, they're like a foundation. You yeah. cannot mm-hmm. have a career if you don't have those four. But certain players build their careers on one of the aspects. Yeah, For example, sure. Chandler, exactly. he had to have a certain level of physical ability because otherwise he can't run 90 minutes. Yeah. Sure, otherwise sure. he's not coordinated. Yeah. So you need to have the foundation. But then he went on and built his career on the cognitive skills and yeah, the sure. technical skills. Exactly. We get a Cristiano Ronaldo. He had to have that basic, but he went and he built it more on the physical aspect, on becoming exactly. quicker, stronger. Mm-hmm. So at a basic level, you have to have it. Mm. All of the four. Sure. And then for, elite, for you to be an elite footballer, you can build your career on one or two of them. But to be able to play at that level, you have to have a foundation that has all four to a certain level. Because yeah. people, Chad was not yeah, physically right. strong. He was physically strong. He was just not stronger than Pate. He was just not stronger mm-hmm. than Gabi. But he was strong. Because if you're not strong, you can't play. You cannot exactly. play. You have to be strong yeah. to an extent. I, I, that's what I think. And I think in development, it's important to develop all four. Because yeah. you don't know at an elite level what the player is going to lean on. Mm. And, 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 and in actual sense, that is why it's important to, to look at the, the genetic uh, attributes. Just look at where does his strength fall on? Does his strength fall on a temperament or his strength mm. falls on a cognitive or his strength falls on a, on a speed? If, 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 this, if this, and then if you do your, your, your research strongly, you are able to find out that yes, uh, 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 look at uh, uh, Messi. Messi, Messi. Messi, before he was, uh, before he came to Barcelona, you know, you know, he, 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 he had, a, he had a, 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 a deficiency in terms of yeah, in terms growth, of growth, growth, growth. growth defi- you, know, you know, he had a deficiency. But he was still, he was still supported in terms of uh, trying to still put on some muscles in terms of, uh, mm-hmm. you know, some, 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 some uh, 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 humans in, to improve on, mm-hmm. on some human uh, development. But, but let me give you a key example of, so when you look at, when, when you look at uh, Messi, if I ask, if I ask a question, Messi is a, wh- where will you put Messi? Will you say Messi is a, is born with his talent? Is his talent bo- is he born with that with the talent? What will you say? For me personally, I would say that he has a natural talent which he developed as time went on, like the like his his skill set, his uh, like you talked about with the with the speed and all of that. At the end of the day, there was a there was something that Barcelona saw in that little kid, and they said, whether he has a good deficiency or not, we're gonna bring him in, and we're gonna we we're gonna help him in other aspects. But with the natural side of it, of course, it comes with everyday training of the ball. If you work with the team and you training with the ball, you develop as time goes on. But then the speed, the strength, like Simon explained, those stuffs, and you also explained, can be trained on, and that is what he worked on. But naturally, so, at yeah. skill this technique, it, so, it wasn't. So you, so you see that, remember that in the op- opening slides, I spoke about that the fact that you can never see the person with any ability unless you find the person in the football field. Yeah, of course. Of you course. cannot go to the market to say you want to pick someone and train the person to become messy. Agreed. You cannot, you cannot go to the street to, to say you are looking for a coach, so you want to pick him from the street and train him as to become a Messi was passionate and then played lots of football in order to 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 begin to to begin to bring all these potentials uh, potencies that we, we we all see to bear. Yeah. But the fact that the fact that the fact that Barcelona Barcelona and then the, the then person had to sign his contract even in the in the restaurant on a on a on a on a on a on a tissue in in a restaurant meant that there was something and that person was the only one who who could who saw that who identified that talent in in, in this little boy yeah there were there were others who didn't see it because they were looking at his size yeah exactly they were looking at his size but mm. but but that person also saw something beyond just the size of the person he saw mm. something beyond the size he saw that no it is not about the size but the, it was it was more than just the size now mm-hmm. A person like Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. Ronaldo, someone if you compare Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi, somebody will say that Messi, Messi looks more flexible, Messi looks more dynamic, but 
Cristiano Ronaldo looks more static. More, he looks more rigid in his movement. Now, Chris, Chris, uh, Ronald, research shows that Ronaldo made, made 30 moves in eight seconds. And it means in every point, point 0.2 seconds, he was able to, to make a new decision in his movement. And what does this tell you? This tells you that in terms of if he's approaching an opponent, <coughs> in that research, when he was approaching that opponent, he was not just looking at the opponent or he was not just putting his eyes on the ball. He was putting his eyes beyond, beyond the ball and the space, the, the space behind the opponent and thinking that when, they, when he made a move like this, so he was speaking what I was speaking about in terms of the cognitive aspect. He was, identi he was picking up information and processing the information while still in motion. Once he was still in motion, he was picking information around his opponent. Each time the opponent made a move of the leg, he was able to pick up information and thinking about what other moves must I do after this move. So, so, so it still shows uh, the, 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 the building blocks of, of, of that potential of, of the cognitive aspect. And the building blocks are, are, are what we want to see in the longer, in the longer years to come. So once we are, you, you, you see young, one, young ones playing, you can still identify some of these things. And once you're able to identify some of these things, how are you going to develop these things to manifest in years to come? Not, not, not this year, not next year, and not next season. But it's all, it's all about thinking about, you know, thinking about the future, thinking about in 10 years, in 10 years, what, what, must, we, must, what must we see in this, in this one? And I think that in Africa, when we are able to, to begin to see things like this, I picked, we, I trained boys in, uh, who were in the Rice Dream Academy and are now playing the first team here when they were 12 years. That was maybe in 2010, 2011 years, uh, 2011. So, 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 so 10, 10 to nine years down the line, they are playing the first team now. Isaac Atanga is playing the first team now. Ibrahim Sadiq is playing the first team now. And then, and, and, and then so many others, Yao Yabua, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Phobia and others. At the time, they were, they, were, they were 10, 11, 12 years. 10, 11, 12 years. So, so what is it that, what is it that uh, Right to Dream saw 10 years ago and thought that in 10 years, these boys are going to be, they, they are going to be playing at top, top, top football. And that is, the, that is what we should begin to be seeing. Not only in our, in our, in our academy settings, but in our club settings and then in our, in our, in our, in our national team setting. That when we, are, when we are grooming players for the U17, either male or female, we need to create, we need to create a, 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 a database, database that, that will have the opportunity of getting some comparisons, the comparisons of today. And then so that when, when I have somebody in terms of his physicality, I'm picking him because of his physicality and, and then comparing him to somebody, somebody who is in the, in the, in the, in the and that is what I mentioned in, initially about the facts, because they are facts that you cannot, you cannot deny them. They are facts and they are there. We should go there and look and think that in some years back, we found somebody with the same weight of the same age. How did he find out? Was he able to play in the, in the Champions League or he only played in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Ghanaian League? So once we are able to pick these players, we should be able to know that this player can play to the national senior A level, or this player can only end up his career at the, at the youth level. You know, our data should be able to give us all this information. And I believe that it is all about, you know, working together and then working holistically, agreeing that, yes, and it's all about the mindset. It's the mindset. If the mindset, if the mindset is that, yes, we should be thinking ahead of time. We should not be masters of thinking about just today and tomorrow. We should, be, we should be masters of thinking about tomorrow. If we can create an environment and create opportunities for, for, for potentials for the future, then we can say that, yes, we, 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 in, in 10 years and then in, in 25 years to come, even when maybe some of us are not more alive, but at least we would have succeeded in creating an awareness that you know, we are, we are under, under, under utilizing the, the, the potential attributes of 
of, of the African of the African player. And I believe that at, uh, see, was it Simon who asked this question that relates to something that, that I'm uh, talking about, or uh, 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 or our Nigerian friend? Yes, sir. No, I think it was Simon that asked, but Simon, Simon just left. Simon he left. Asked, uh, he asked an interesting question here. Yeah. So I uh, think that... Um, yeah, we might as well just open it up uh, for a few more questions here. Yeah, um, yeah. I think, let me put this one across for my last... Uh, okay. So uh, my, my take-home message for you all is that uh, what you see today is not necessary. What you what you will uh, you will get in the future it should be what we should be we should always think about is he a real talent or does he only look like one that is my 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 my, my take home uh, message great we stuff we shouldn't see what we shouldn't just rely on what we see today it's not necessary mm -hmm. what we will get in the future should always be what we should be thinking about and we should always be thinking about is he or she a real talent or does he only look like one? Many times, some of them just look like one, but not really a talent that we think about. So we can take the questions. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, Thank, very you. Insightful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anybody who uh, has a uh, question? We have room for maybe one or two. Uh, sorry, this is John from Nigeria. And uh, yeah. I was going to ask a couple of questions before we started. Sure. So, uh, the first question was, mm -hmm. how do cultural factors affect the idea of talent? Mm. What role does our society, does our general culture, and how we as maybe Africans, what impact does it have in terms of how we develop these talents? Mm. And the second question was, that are there any specific characteristics that we have observed from African players that can help mm. guide coaches into knowing how to maximize the talents they have. So maybe, mm. for example, in Spain, we know they have very technical players that are good with very a very good possession game. So what mm. kind of natural abilities do our African players have? Or maybe I should say West African players because I feel like we are a bit closer to one another. Yeah. And how does this affect how we start thinking about how we want to maximize this guy's time? Okay. Your first point, your first point is on our culture, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, culture, culture is, culture is, is, a, is a absolute. And I'll, I'll, I will follow, I will follow it up just to relate it from the African culture into the, the European, you know, European or the American, you know, environment. First, mindset. First, it's all about the mindset. The mindset has to always be a group mindset. When you are leaving Africa and then you are setting up into, into, into the European, uh, you know, setting, if you still want to keep the, that mindset, then you it will take it a long time for you to be able to work, to be able to uh, integrate, and it's all about your integration and your adaptation. You are able to, if you are able to ad, uh, adapt, if you are able to integrate quickly, then it means that you your your transition has been has been quick. The the African boys who are who are playing in in FCN are able to do it well because we have what we we created what we call the. IA. The IA is International Academy. International Academy in terms of, uh, you know, uh, integrating, integrating the two cultures, the two, uh, the African culture and then the European culture. So, so what it happens is that the boys from Africa normally come in here three months, every three months, then they go back. They come here and then play some games and then they go back. The Europeans also, from time to time, they go to Africa in Ghana, in Right to Dream, and then stay with them and then you know, train and play some games with them, and then they come back. They don't last for that three months. They come for two weeks. And then from time to time, we organize, you know, matches maybe in Germany or in other places, and then we pick this international academy and then make it a team, and then they, they blend together. And then it is all about finding the integration 
of two different cultures fusing it together because it's not easy to just meet somebody one moment and then you you the way he speaks you should be you should be okay with it and then and then the way he acts on uh, emotions and then the way he acts on uh, on his feelings you need to you you can say you are okay with it it's not it's never true you cannot come from a new environment and then be so used to another environment and say that you are okay i i have been able to adapt into this because of may, maybe my mind my 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 mindset if you have a mindset of a growth mindset if you make up your mind that this is the vision i have this is the goals i have set for myself this is the vision i have so the the vision you have in terms of uh, this is what i want to do uh, in some in some years to come so you so so in putting up a a, a smart uh, 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 goal setting you know in terms of uh, uh, your specific things uh, you know things that you want to you want to uh, measure you know how you want to attain it uh, how relevant is it uh, time frame putting all this in, in, in together you will know that already you have made up your mind that your aim is that you want to coach in, in, in Europe. So if your aim is to coach in Europe, then you have to already start to behave like what? Like the Euro European. You have to, be, to, be, to have a growth mindset because you cannot say you want to do the things that you did in Africa. The setting is, is, is different. In, in, in Africa, you can shout on a, on a, on a, on a player, right? Is that, is that true? You can shout on a player. It's very true. <laughs> Yes, but, but in, Europe, in, in Europe, you cannot do that. In Africa, in Africa how many, how many uh, 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 boy, boy, let me ask you a question. In Africa, in Africa uh, does, does, a, does a player have the, the opportunity to ask you a question, you the coach? No. no. But, 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 but it's, 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 that compat uh, the compatibility has to be there. You have to create it. You have to create yeah, it. Yeah. That's a good to, point. In Africa, That's how many coaches... How many coaches go to their players? That's rare. It doesn't happen that often. But, but you see, in Africa, we even do. But in Europe, in Europe, in Europe, it's this time that the Europeans have be, they are beginning to adapt, you know, because some of them have been successful because, because they, 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 they show empathy to their players. They go to their players. But country, uh, those, who have, those who are consecutives, for instance, they, don't, they are not used to that. Germans, for instance, are not used to that. You know, Germans are not used to they are very prog programmatic. They, they, they give time. This is the time. This is what we want to do. Come do, do it and go. That's, that's what they, they do. Italians are, are the type that, that, that want to stay on the pitch for, for, for lo longer times. You know, the, the Dutch are, are said that the Dutch, the, Dutch, the Dutch have what we call arrogance, football arrogance. They, they want you to, to say that, yes, you know how to do it. But uh, Africans, we are not like that. Africans, we are... We are we are very diplomatic in the way we go about things. You know, even if you are not happy, you still will say that, oh, yes, yes, it's okay, it's okay. You, 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 you are able to contain it. But the European will not be able to, he, if he's not happy, he cannot tell you that he, he's okay. If he didn't sleep well, he will not tell you that, if you ask him, in, an African in, in Europe, if you ask him, how, hey, how was your night? He'll say, so, it's so okay. Meanwhile, he was not okay, he didn't sleep well. <laughs> he didn't sleep well. He didn't sleep well. The, the European, you ask him, how was your night? If he didn't sleep well, he will tell you, absolutely, my night was not okay. He will tell you that. But you know, but for our upbringing, the, 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 English, the English African is more diplomatic. The French African is more, is, is more, is more to it. He's more direct. He says it as it is. The mm -hmm. French person will just say it as it is. You might like it or not like it, but, but, but he's, he's, he's very, he's, he's the person. He, he just tells you what it is. So, so, so in terms of culture, that is, that is what I will tell you about. That first of all, we need to change either as coaches or as, a, as players. Our mindset is something that we need to change quickly. When you're stepping onto the... I, I, now, I, I now understood, I understood it because my role, my role you know, ha, has even surprised the Europeans because my role as a transitional coach, I went beyond to try to know the player even more. If you don't speak with the player, how will you know him? If you don't ask about the player's background, the, 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 the community he comes from, the environment he comes from, the people he lives with, how will you know the player better? How will you know the behavior of the player on the pitch? I, ha I, ha I have a Dennis boy, a Dennis boy who, who sometimes I call him, I call him a Nima boy and he, and he smiles because he has been to Nima twice. 
you know, yeah, he smiles. You know why he smiles? He behaves like, 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 like our Zongo, you know, community or our northern, northern behavior. You know, northerners, we are more aggressive. We are, you know, we are naturally aggressive. Even though we have soft ones amongst us, but we are naturally aggressive the way our, our languages even, uh, our languages are even, even spoken. The way we act, the way we do things, you know, that is our personality. That is who we are. And then, and then, and then, and then we are so committed. And then that boy is somebody who lives with, in the Muslim community. He lives with Turkish. He lives with Turkish. That is where he's, he, he, that is where he comes from. And he will tell you that, yes, me, I behave like a Nima boy. A Danish. He tells you, I behave like a, yes. And he likes it. And his teammates likes his approach. You know, so we have an identity that is positive. But when you are stepping into somebody's house or somebody's home, you need to begin to do things that, that can let you fit. You need to do things that can let you fit. So, so in terms of culture, I think that our mindset needs to be improved. And then in terms of uh, the, the other aspect, what we have as Africans, especially West Africans, is our physical attributions and our creativity. So as coaches in, in, uh, in, uh, in Africa or whatever, when we want to get the best out of our players, physical and then, and then creativity is big. It's big that we should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should develop it. The area we don't have strongly is our, our uh, game intelligence. Our ability to identify, 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 uh, uh, pick up information and process the information in terms of tactical elements. And that is why when we are talking about uh, talent, issues about talent, you saw that I didn't talk about, about tactics. You saw that I didn't talk about tactics. Tactics is not important in this aspect. Because if, if you are looking for, uh, if you are looking for, uh, what do I call it? If you are looking for a potential talent, why, what are ta uh, uh, tactics got to do there? <laughs> uh, Faisal, what are tactics got to do there? Get, yeah, uh, well, game intelligence. Once he, ha when he has game intelligence, once, he has, once the player has game intelligence, once his cognitive aspect is, is there, that tactical aspect, you can develop it. Okay. Yeah. You can that develop makes... it. Because tactics is all about you, you want to win a game. You want to, you want to play in a certain way. You want, you know, you, 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 you want to gain advantage over the opponent. That is why you are involving in tactics. Not only on the field of football, but on, full, on, the, on the field of even, you know, even businesses or, or other, this, you, they have their own tactics, way of developing their, 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 their tactics and strategies. But in terms of football, when you are really talking about talent, tactics does not come at all. Tactics don't come. You would rather be looking at the cognitive aspect and then developing that aspect. You are, you are looking at his game intelligence <coughs> and looking at how he's able to stay in the game and then being able to identify you know, some difficulties. His intelligence will, will give you all these fundamentals. And then yours is just to give you the opportunity to develop, to develop it to the highest extreme. Sounds good. Does it make sense? <laughs> yep, I did. I think your question is answered. Uh, I think we have room for the last one. Anybody? Yeah. I think that would be it then. Uh, Coach, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. I know uh, you guys are still in season. Um, yeah. I wish you all the best on your last what, uh, six games. Sure. Six games. Yeah, and, last, uh, last five games. Five games. We wish you all the best on that. And uh, hopefully so uh, everyone stays safe and uh, just follow the guidelines from, from the government and then yeah. WHO, yeah, as we, we maneuver through this this pandemic. Um, we share what the best of luck and uh, Thank you. join us again on Saturday. We have uh, Siki Akuna presenting, so that should be fun yeah. as well. Yeah. Thank you so much.